Good morning YouTubers, welcome back to another one at Mr GDB Official. Today we're with my Ford Transit T460, which as you know kind of remains a little bit unsold. Why it didn't sell, probably because it's a 4.6 tonner, I'll be honest, but it should have sold because this equipment is absolutely impeccable. But if I couldn't sell it, I guess it's time to do a little remount project and put it onto something else with the new requirements for the business. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Okay, let's go. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video at Mr GDB Official where it's all systems go. From accidents, breakdowns, mobile tyres and vehicle projects. So, news is, Transit T460, which I could not sell, I am taking the equipment off because I'm forever getting jobs with multiple passengers on the M6 and obviously winch outs and blah blah blah. So I thought, right, time to up the ante a little bit. So we're going to go back to Iveco, but 7 ton, which it, that equipment was on before, long time ago. But it's crew cab. So I've got four passenger seats in the back, and I've got two passenger seats in the front. So the advantage with this, I can now, well I say now, soon, I'll be able to do like Ford Transit Customs, Vauxhall Vivaros, um, VW Transporters, Ford Galaxy, you know, with multiple passengers and all of that. So this is going to work absolute wonders. Obviously at the minute I've got like a tipping body. Let me just spin this round. So I've got like a tipping body. And it's also got the electronic tail lifter as well. So I'm going to sell this body because it's obviously had a bit of work done on it. They're like brand new sides there. Floor looks solid. And this is meant to be a tipping ram. And with the electronic tail lift. I've already activated the buttons inside. But I need to make sure that the body lockers are free. Which I'm assuming that shows in like a bit of a free position. Maybe. But it's probably only wanting to find out really, isn't there? Let's just be honest. But that one showing is not in the lock. What about this side? Uh, unlock. Yeah, that showing is unlocked. So if that was pulled... Oh, it's already in the unlock position anyways. If I was to undo this... Yeah, that's locked. That's unlocked. Right. <laughs> Let's see if I can tip it all. Oh. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Look at that ram. Oh, I wonder if we could use that ram on the Transit County. Ooh, it is a, it is a, um, it is a, a push in and a push out, or pull in and pull out. Hmm. Right. What I'm concerned about then, for obvious reasons, is not to do with the hydraulic pump because that's going to be shot off. We're going to have to go back to PTO off the gearbox, in which I need to get a gearbox code. But we need to be starting to look at undoing this. But also I can see, um, uh, what am I thinking right now? 
already there's that bit of framework but so I've got the top which is a secondary undo 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 same all the way to there but I might have a small issue when I get to here that one will undo there but the bit I won't be able to undo is that so that's going to probably be grinded off more than likely I would assume hmm or maybe actually have they welded it in no I can't see any weld lines for that so this might, might actually come off with the pump I think that might actually come off with the pump so that can be disconnected yeah I think that's alright I think that's alright regards to leaf springs what we got uh, yeah ample might have to still get them upgraded in regards to the body and the tail that is sound that'll unbolt and unbolt again so yeah that's pretty cool I'm happy with that absolutely happy with that right let's get to work and start stripping I don't know if I'm gonna be able to video much of this because I've got so much to get done in the day as it is but hey I'm gonna try and do it myself and if I can't, I'll take it to a fabricator's. It is what it is. But if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Okay, let's go. Bam. Boom. We've got the body off the Iveco Daily Crew Cab, seven ton. Next plan of action is going to be, probably take some of the dirt off the chassis. That's a nice, easy job. But then we need to get the PTO on. Just gonna show you this. Look at this, looks like it's had so much maintenance done. Excuse the odd chop cable for the side markers. Uh, don't need to see that. But the prop looks new, new bolts, leaf springs have still got the label on. It's just been maintained to such a good standard being an ex-council vehicle. I'm very, very excited about this. But I do know this is obviously a little bit longer than the Transit repo truck on the chassis. So I'm just trying to work out where things are going to be. So I'm going to measure it out very shortly. And I think, 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 think that where mine is at the minute, I think it's going to be in about here. But if we've got room spare, that's good because it is extra storage space. But at the minute, I'm very happy with how it's looking. And let's time to get the PTO on. Which I'm not looking forward to doing. But here she is. Brand new PTO by Power Trans, which I think were based in Leeds. And let's see what we can do in-house. But so far, so good. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Now we're going to install our PTO on the Iveco Daily 3 litre. But before you order your PTO, you need to make sure that it matches up with the gearbox number, which can be found here. Gonna undo them all a little bit first, and soon we're gonna have some oil, or hopefully we're gonna have some oil that will come out. And then we'll have to refill our gearbox fluid. All right, now we're gonna go from top to bottom. Just like that. <laughs> there we go, that was a good seal. At least the fluid looked pretty damn uh, clear as well. That is always a bonus. Right. Always have a microfiber cloth at hand. But yeah, good result.
YouTubers. It's five o'clock in the morning. Um, we're all loaded up with the Transit Repo truck and the Iveco Daily Crew Cab. Um, going over to the fabricators nice and early to get the body swapped. Okay, let's go.